What's going on, Clutch? Squat! What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dub. It's your boy Ross. We're in the Clutch. Hey, Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, on the video today, you feel me? All right, we're going to check out the <laughs> Young Thug Trial Explained. It's yeah, been man. a lot of twists and turns, and things have been kind of <clears throat> weird mm -hmm. throughout this whole entire trial. Um, I haven't really been able to keep up with it, just, you know, seeing a few things here and there. And it's honestly one of those things where it's like, at this point, why I'm surprised they haven't just thrown the case out the yeah, window. Yeah, that's a lot of wild stuff that's been going on. I mean, you be thinking that they making it up, and it actually yeah. be true. Yeah. So, so we're going to check it out right now. Some of the uh, the gentlemen here explaining what's going on, name of the channel, uh, Xevi, mm -hmm. Zevi. Um, so we're going to check it out right now, him doing an explanation to it. Okay. And, I mean, let's see, because this one has been a doozy. For yeah, no, nah, so, facts. <clears throat> so Young Thug had a problem. His group YSL just got hit with a RICO charge. What's a RICO charge? Great question. So basically courts use this thing called RICO to bring a whole organization mm -hmm. in for a crime. Courts mm -hmm. kind of decided criminals could be treated <laughs> like employees. If an employee does something, he was probably told by his boss to do so. Shouldn't his boss be liable? They decided yes. In Young Thug's case, he's considered the boss and everybody else in YSL are like his employees. Now, mm -hmm. as you can imagine, they really want Young Thug. Everyone else, eh. So what do they do? They call everyone in and say, hey, you give us Young Thug and we don't give you 50 years. Everyone yep, that's it. says 50, what? He did this, he did that, he did yeah. this. And that's where our boy Gunna comes in. People take things. That's the damn picture he used. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's usually what happened, bro. So uh -huh. you ain't trying to get involved or lined up with nothing. Separate mm -hmm. yourself. Yeah, you feel me. Facts. When they come, they definitely try to make sure everybody they they hold everybody mm -hmm. um, in contempt and try to see who is gonna be the weakest link to give them what they want. Yeah, it's called plea deals. Remember, the whole point of court is to convince jury people that this person did something or didn't. So they bring Gunna in and say, you didn't do that much. Gunna's like, I didn't. They're like, so all you gotta do is tell us if YSL, this is important, if it's a gang Dang. or mm -hmm. not. Don't tell us if Young Thug is a super bad criminal. Just tell us if it's mm -hmm. a gang or or not, and you're basically free to go. That sounds insane, right? But see, the thing is, this whole thing is a chess match. Before they can capture the king, which is Young Thug, they need to take down all the other pieces. So by Gunna and a bunch of other YSL members coming out and saying YSL is a gang, the jury's thinking, oh, if their own members are saying it's a gang and they're dangerous, then they're probably a gang and they're probably dangerous. So oh, out of yeah. 28 people, a bunch of them took plea deals, a bunch mm -hmm. of them got moved here, moved there, and all in all, six people, including Young Thug, were left. But a couple were already going to jail for life for past stuff, so they didn't care about a plea deal or not. Now, yeah. here's where the story starts to get wicked. This whole thing it's started because mm -hmm. of a rap beef, but not quite. See, the thing you don't know about Young Thug is he's from one of the roughest neighborhoods in America. Another person from that neighborhood mm -hmm. is named YFN Lucci. Now you yep. would think they'd be friends because they're both from the same neighborhood and they both came up around the same time. Nah, because when you're from a rough neighborhood, people get, and one of those people to get was someone very close to YFN Lucci mm -hmm. named Big Nut. Rumor <laughs> has it that YSL, Young Thug's group, was responsible. So yep. a huge war breaks out in Atlanta, YFN Lucci's group and Young Thug's group. So many people's houses got lit up that federal agents had no choice but to take action. So not many people know this, but before Young Thug's group got taken down, they went after yep. YFN Lucci's group mm -hmm. first and they took him down. In fact, YFN Lucci is currently serving 10 years in prison. Yep. So the courts liked their odds with Young Thug. They just needed a spark. And that spark came with a man named Woody. See, Woody was a part of YSL. He got caught with a in his car and they said, Hey, you're going to jail for a while. Woody said, How long's a while? They said, He said, Never mind, I'm snitching. They said, Oh, that was easy. <laughs> he Never said, mind. Oh, that man started singing like a bird. So the story goes a couple yeah. YFN members robbed Woody. Woody got mad and big nut. Young Thug bought him the car to do that, and boom, it's Damn. the perfect spark. Young Thug's lawyer said, Cap. Or you probably said baloney. Young Thug and YSL are just <laughs> a music group. Just because someone from YSL does something bad doesn't mean the whole group 
is involved. Prosecutors go, no, like Gunna said, they're a gang. Now, this seems pretty cut and dry. They both had their arguments. But see, the case then started to drag out for so long that everyone started to mm -hmm. lose it. I mean, lose it. That being said, grab some water because it's time for our story break with today's sponsor, NordVPN. Okay, Let's get your bag, man. Yeah, the passwords have been leaked. So I got NordVPN, which more than allows you peers and the sh Not all of us in a called SIM card. I use it, go to to get the best deal. And back to our sales last like eight months. They had about 700 witnesses. Which is crazy, bro. It's like, <sighs> you hate to hear about people coming up from the same mm -hmm. neighborhood, making it out. Mm -hmm. Like, because what are the chances and odds of people making it out and being able to become successful in music and whatsoever? Just to still be dragged back into the thing mm -hmm. that they grew up in. Yep. That'd be the sad part. And I know it's just unfortunate sometimes because of where you come from and what habits and what you've seen during your upbringing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but that's just the overall sad part because it'd be so much, um, it's so much, it's so many other choices that people can make. Yeah. It's different opportunities, bro. Different opportunities. And it just, it's just an unfortunate uh, thing mm -hmm. that all this is going down ready to testify <clears throat> they started going through the witnesses and started realizing oh this is not going to finish until 2027 because Ooh. with each witness comes a list of other problems one witness said i'm high as hell i don't know anything oh you don't believe me i'm so high right now y'all i'm about to go to sleep on y'all he then goes yeah, on to say bro. he's too high to remember that's how you know that's how you know yeah bro and 2027 that's a long time to be going back and forth to court, bro. That's tax people money, bro. Jeez. <clears throat> oh, man. On one case. This nigga gonna serve his time by just time. by going to court. Right. And lawyer fees. I can only Another imagine. witness comes oh, on the yeah. stand and flips <clears throat> on the prosecutors and starts helping Young Thug. Not because she liked Young Thug. It's because someone on the prosecutor's team kept asking her out on dates and she thought it was weird. She felt harassed, wanted Wait. to stay home, but they kept asking her out on dates. Good morning, mama. Hope you slept well. Again, don't come at 1.30. I have a feeling the defense will uh, keep the same witness from yesterday all, my, um, all day again today. I'll give you an update at three. You'll most likely go up tomorrow morning. Talk to you soon. Call me, please. Call me one more time, then I'm out your hair for the night. Hit me up with your boy later. We're not going to talk shop. Yeah, throw the fucking case away. What the? What is going what is oh on God. here, bro? Oh, brother. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Bro. I'm thug. That's weird, bro. It's because what? someone on the prosecutor's team kept asking her out on dates, and she That's thought it was stupid. weird. She felt harassed, wanted to stay home, but they forced her to be there. So the judge said, stop, we're putting a cap on the witnesses. So it went from 700 to about 150. So instead of finishing in 2027, the trial's gonna finish in like 2026. So Young Thug's That's lawyers scale. basically call for a mistrial, meaning everything mm -hmm. needs to stop. The trial has taken too long. The yeah. jurors are checked out, which is the most important part. That's why trials can't be so long. Yeah. Imagine you're sitting there yeah. for two years. That's... Hearing people go over and over, talk over. Yeah, you're, you're not done. Gonna, you're gonna check out. The judge says, no, we're gonna keep going. But the uh -huh. trial has been lasting for so long that the judge starts getting mad at everybody as uh -huh. well. They all hate each other at this point. So they're just arguing in the courtroom. So Young Thug's lawyer says again, stop the trial. You basically called me an idiot a million times in front of the jury. This is not fair to us. The judge says, no, we're gonna keep going. But everything explodes when Woody takes the stand. <laughs> Remember, Woody's the one who started this whole thing. So he was the prosecution's star witness against Young Thug. Mm. The prosecution was hyped. They said, Thug, you going to jail. Yeah. Woody, tell them what you was telling us. Woody said, they said, did he hear me? Woody, he said, I'm done. Woody becomes completely uncooperative. Listen to what he says to their First question. How old are you? Grown. Okay, what does grown mean? <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. an adult. This nigga <laughs> yeah, said bro. grown. Yeah, bro. It's, How old are you? It's done. Grown. When your star yeah. key informant is, or your star witness is starting to give you bullshit answers like that, chalk it. It's done. How old are you? This nigga said grown. Just chalk it. It's done, bro. Yeah, bro. Now you really finna be pissing off the jurors. The yeah, judge. bro. I, Cause 
I don't even think the jurors even get paid that much to be up there. Like, they pay you a small amount. Bro, get me the hell out of here. Yeah, bro. They don't even pay you that much to go up there to sit there all damn day and listen to this shit. This nigga said grown. Nigga, what? Yeah, that's GG's. Yeah. Grown? Okay, what does grown mean? I'm an adult. The prosecutors go, oh, snap. Hold on. We need to talk to him. So the courts take a break. Woody comes back, he starts talking, and here's where things start to get wicked. See, here's the thing. Prosecutors already gave Woody basically immunity for uh, whatever he uh, says, so he can say whatever he wants. Yep, the deal goes, deal. you told us that Young Thug We know about immunity guy. deals. We let you go free? Now just repeat what you said in front of everyone. Now, listen closely. He decides not to say anything at first. The judge tells him you have to say stuff. That does not mean you have to say what you said to them earlier. You just have to say something. So he decides to start being a menace, dragging out questions, mm -hmm. just being uncooperative. Remember, they then leave, they come back, and he starts being a little more cooperative. So Young Thug's lawyers were like, why is he being a little more cooperative? Come to find out mm -hmm. that Woody was taken to the back with the judge yep. and the prosecutor yep. and basically told, if you don't start talking right now, you finna go to jail. Yeah. Now, this is just something the courts cannot yeah. do. Mm -hmm. You have the right to a fair trial, meaning, listen closely, there cannot be any secret meetings. Nope. In fact, everything has to be known by everyone. Yep. All the charges, all the witnesses, nothing can be a secret between the and judge, prosecutors, it gets, it gets and messy. the defendants. This meeting. And then this is what I've actually seen that time mm -hmm. when we were talking about the judge having a little secret meeting and then yeah. the, uh, the, lawyer. the lawyer was Yo, calling him out. Yeah, it was like, y'all Yo, having a secret meeting. And then he, he didn't deny it. All he said was, how do you know? Yeah, he was mad that he didn't tell him how he found out. Mm -hmm. It was over. It was over. And then, ar uh, then arrested him for contempt of court. I'm like, bro, you throw this shit. Throw it. Throw it away, bro. It's done. It's Nuke done. It was clearly a secret. So Young Thug's lawyers confront the judge about it. Yeah. The judge goes, How did you know? Young Thug's lawyers go, It doesn't matter how, how I know. Knew. Yeah. Did it happen? The judge says, Who told you? There we go. He says, It doesn't matter. matter. Who told me? <laughs> Why? Why did it happen? Right. The judge goes, He actually starts shaking up. Uh -huh. going to jail. The lawyer goes, what? Judge goes, arrest oh, that man. Young mm -hmm. Thug's lawyer said, you know you don't want to do that. The judge said, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. So Young Thug's lawyer goes to jail. jail. Mm -hmm. The Georgia Supreme Court immediately says, mm -hmm. no. Everybody mm -hmm. goes, that's it? The Supreme Court goes, yes. Go back. So Young Thug's lawyer comes back. The judge goes, why are you here? Young Thug's lawyer goes, you need to leave. The judge goes, Young Thug's lawyer goes, huh? He said, <laughs> All right, we'll leave the decision up to another judge. Other judge, do you think I need to be dismissed from the trial? She goes, yes. He goes, do you don't want to think about it for a second? She goes, I yeah. don't. He goes, switch in size, switch in size. All right, I'm going to just go. He leaves. They get a new judge. And young thug's lawyer goes, <laughs> <laughs> because in all regards, this case is over. Because no matter what the courts decide, young thug's lawyer is just going to say, the trial wasn't fair. And well, it wasn't. On top yeah. of that, the prosecution and the judge look very corrupt. So mm -hmm. the jury is probably going to let Young Thug go. They don't know what's true, true and what's yeah. lies. Yeah. I, how can I put a man in jail for life if I don't know how much times I've been lied to? If the jury decides, screw that, he's guilty, then Young Thug's lawyer just goes to an appeals Appeal. court yeah. and says, mm -hmm. you saw what happened. The Supreme Court's going to say, yeah, okay, mistrial. Ah, but yeah. the prosecutors try to counter that by saying, well, we're gonna get Young Thug on this other charge or this other charge, then Young Thug's lawyer would counter counter that That's and say, crazy. maybe you were making this trial so bad that you wanted me to do a mistrial so you yeah, can start the trial the over <laughs> yeah. since you were already losing and then it all gets so weird. The Supreme Court doesn't F. wanna deal with that. Mm -mm. So they're just gonna say, you lost, Georgia. Young Thug's free to go. Maybe. I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> we'll That's see how it play out. But, hey, know. Young Thug's lawyer, he, yeah, he getting a, a good payday. Oh, yeah. Because nah, this nigga sure. went to jail. <laughs> Obviously, because it's like, hey, what? How what? did you know? How, how, how do you know you? that? How do you know? Who told? 
That's when you we got him. <laughs> we got him. You the judge, fam. Bro, what do you mean? You the damn judge, bro. Brother too. Look like come that was on. a come on, bro. Come on. Like, I get it. The agenda was to get young thug at all costs, but you Y'all you, had to plan that better though. Whatever it is. Y'all exposed yourselves yeah. multiple times and the information got out. He knew, and now you look stupid. And you got now because your opponent. Now, because of this situation, there may be a, a good chance he may end up getting out. We'll see how it plays out. But this whole trial has been a clusterfuck. And this is why it's just best to just stay away from all that type of stuff. If you possibly can, yeah. bro, stay away from all that. I'm just waiting on the uh, the Netflix doc. Oh, oh bro, this Netflix doc. doc is gone. Man, Netflix Whoever get the rights. It, they going to get some. Whoever get it, but I think Netflix, <clears throat> they got the money right now. They trying to get everything. Yeah. So whoever really gets the rights, oh, this documentary is going to be like one of the most watched court documentaries because it was, it was a complete clusterfuck bro like that yeah. was just at the end of the day bro like i was saying before man stay away from all this stuff bro yeah it ain't even that serious mm -mm. enough of us is going to jail or been in jail and it's time for us to just change the the way the outlook things are on life mm -hmm. and, and all that man it's just it's just avoid all these situations at all costs facts for real facts, hopefully facts, he facts. learned his lesson from this situation yeah i would if he get out hopefully whatever it is <laughs> bro yeah, don't even look at no hood shit. My mm -hmm. lyrics would completely change. Yeah, bro. Because they be trying to get people on lyrics, too. Yeah, they was trying to get him on lyrics. Yeah. So, like, in hey, all bro. fashions, bro, nah, I'm off of that, bro. Yeah, I, I, I would just I would just chill on that one, man. So, But we'll see. Even though I don't care about my ops. <laughs> yeah, that hell go hard, too. <laughs> but nah, man, if y'all enjoyed the video, you already know what to do. Make sure yeah. you those like, subscribe. Let so, us know your thoughts uh, in the comments down below. If y'all like videos like these, make sure y'all let us know. We can check out some more. Homie kind of remind me of our homie Dolo a little bit. Like mm -hmm. if he used to do commentary a little mm -hmm. bit, he, he were um, kind of give me that same energy and vibe. But mm -hmm. now nah, again, shout out to the folks and the homies. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace out. Peace. Bitches from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me